Dang. These Dragon Ball Z watches, they're so cool. They make me feel so energized. It's like I'm Super Saiyan or something. Huh? Watch this. Right off the bat, I'm fully aware that these watches are not horological masterpieces. Nope, no tourbillons, split-second chronos, or gentian wood polish beveling. Don't get me wrong, I love me some hot horology, but most of the time those watches are meant for me to just gawk at because, let's face it, they'll usually cost you a lot of money. But when I first heard Swatch and Dragon Ball were collaborating to bring us seven quartz equipped watches based off of popular characters from the Z series, I freaked out like I was getting the call from a Rolex AD. Yeah, I like Dragon Ball that much. The seven Dragon Ball Z characters represented in these watches are Goku, Cell, Master Roshi, Gohan, Majin Buu, Frieza, and my personal favorite, Vegeta. They range in price from $85 to $135, and you can buy them directly from Swatch's website, unlike the Moon Swatch. All right, let's talk about them. The Goku and Cell versions are basically the same style of watch, just decorated differently. They're 47 millimeters in diameter and 11.75 millimeters thick, with 30 meters of water resistance. They were a tad too large for my taste, but since this is Dragon Ball Z and these watches are meant to look a little cartoonish or anime-ish, they get a pass. These aren't really meant to wear under a cuff. Hell, I don't even know if they're meant for adults, but these are fun and a lot of us adults grew up on Dragon Ball Z, right? Goku's version has a large kanji character printed on the dial that's pronounced Go, and it means wisdom. It's the same kanji you'll see on the chest of his outfit. The case is black, but the silicone strap is orange, and it's meant to resemble that same fit. What's really cool to me is the Nimbus on the underside of the strap that was more so seen in Dragon Ball, but it's in Dragon Ball Z too. If you don't know, Nimbus is a little cloud that flew Goku around during a lot of his adventures. I never really thought Cell was that interesting of a character in Dragon Ball Z, so even if I love the way this watch looks, it's hard for me to like it. Why did Vegeta let him evolve to perfect Cell? I don't know. Next up, we have the Majin Buu and Frieza models. These are both 34 millimeters in diameter and 8.75 millimeters thick with 30 meters of water resistance, making them the smallest out of the collection. Just like Goku and Cell, these two models are the exact same minus the colors. Out of the two, the Buu version wins hands down for me. I really like the design with the mark of Majin prominently printed on the dial and the purple and yellow color scheme sort of matches my favorite basketball team, the LA Lakers. I also think Boo was a fun villain because of all his different forms, some of them being quite silly in a good way. I like Frieza as a villain too, but since these watches are on the small side, the circle and circle design of the dial makes his look even smaller on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. All right, now to my favorite. The Vegeta Gohan and Master Roshi models are all 41 millimeters in diameter and 9.85 millimeters thick with, again, 30 meters of water resistance. I feel like these three especially fit my wrist the best since these dimensions are in the same ballpark as a lot of modern watches that I already wear. Vegeta is probably my favorite character in the anime because of his enormous sense of pride and he's a good-hearted jerk sometimes but his watch is my second favorite. It's inspired by his famous scouter with a red glass crystal and a silhouette of Goku painted on the dial. It's definitely cool and instantly makes you think of the over 9000 scene. It's great. The Gohan watch is inspired by the time he beat Cell with that massive Kamehameha, but that was sort of the last time we saw Gohan as an actual full-time fighter. After he defeated Cell, he chose an education instead of getting stronger, which is probably the smarter decision, but I miss strong Gohan. 
Now, Vegeta is my favorite character in the series, but the Master Roshi version is my favorite watch. He's also one of the funniest members of the team, but he gets most of his shine in the original Dragon Ball series, which took place before the events of Dragon Ball Z, when Goku was just a kiddo. If you've only seen Dragon Ball Z, I highly recommend you check out the original Dragon Ball. It is hilarious. Master Roshi is a goofball, but when it's time to fight, he can hold his own. I mean, he originally trained Goku, which is one of the strongest characters in the entire series. Jackie Chun, anyone? His watch is a perfect representation of him. The dial is just his unforgettable silly face wearing his iconic red sunglasses, and the strap is reminiscent of his outfits with the underside being inspired by his Aloha alphabet shirt. If you put the face of any other character on these watches, it just wouldn't have worked. But with Master Roshi, it just works. When I see his face, I can't help but smile. In our little watch bubble, some people can be a little, how can I say this nicely, snobby. But just because you're wearing a high-end luxury wristwatch or a hard-to-get hyped up piece doesn't make you a more sophisticated watch collector than anyone else. Yeah, if I see someone wearing a Crator HE2 or a Paul Newman Daytona in the wild, it'll definitely catch my eye. But if I see you wearing one of these Dragon Ball Z swatch watches, whether you're 10 years old or around my age, I'd actually stop you in the streets to tell you you're wearing a nice watch. Mainly because I'm an anime nerd, but also because this is what it's all about. Let's have a little bit of fun in this watch space. There's room for everyone, anime nerds included. 